This is the story of Will's Mark and the Beggar's Curse. Tembi was a very successful medieval trading town. We had all sorts of exotic things coming into the town and Tembi became very, very wealthy. And in fact, of course, it, you can imagine really attracted the attention of many pirates. Now, the story has it that apparently a pirate ship moored somewhere out of view uh, of Tembi and they sent into the town um, a, a man who would then pose as a, a, a deaf mute beggar. But the people of Tembi were very geared up to the, activities, pirate, uh, the activity of pirates and they realised this man was just spying, you know, waiting to see what he could see and what was worth pinching. So they grabbed hold of this poor man, dragged him before the mayor of the town, Mayor Rogers, and um, hung him basically, took him up to the Garrow Tree Hill and made an example of him. But unfortunately, a few weeks later, a real deaf mute beggar came into Tembi, uh, started begging around the town. And of course, the people of Tembi saw this man and thought he must, you know, really be, you know, making, trying to make fools of them, really. So he was gathered up, dragged to the mayor of the town once more. And Mayor Rogers said, who will take the beggar and beat him for me? And one leaky porridge volunteered for the task. And it was said that leaky porridge dragged this poor man to the outskirts of the town to Slippery Back, which was then the um, main road into Tembi, in fact, and there beat him very severely. But they say his tongue was loosed by the beating and that he raised up his arms and cursed the town of Tembi. In fact, he cursed the man who had instigated the beating, the mayor, cursed the town and had stood by and allowed him to be so very badly beaten and cursed the man who had done the beating. And it came to pass after this time that Mayor Rogers was actually struck dumb, never spoke another word. And in fact, also one of his children also lost the ability to talk. Uh, the town of Tembi lost Will's Mark, and Will's Mark was the main fishing ground of Tembi. It was said to be an underwater island the size of Koldi, and there the fish congregated in the warm, shallow waters. Um, but they lost Will's Mark, and in fact it is a matter of record that in 1627, Mayor Rogers commissioned a search to re-find Will's Mark, and they have never found it since that time. As for Leaky Porridge and the male members of his family, it was said from this time forward that they were unable to grow beards, no moustaches either. Cursed indeed.